Um, I wanted to show you this whole game, I think. Yeah, but we'll go to the next one. I'll come back. I'll show you the snippets first, then the whole game. Okay, this is uh, Dominguez losing every game. Um, according to the, the producers of our show or somebody, this kid's a grandmaster and his dad's a grandmaster. So there you go. I don't know if it's true, but it could be. Okay, so white sacrificed a pawn to attack Black's king. And so Dominguez made the human move. Usually computer moves are better than human moves. Computer move is bishop d4 and white is still better. Thanks, Oakless 11. He played the human move, queen a5. If the guy's checkmating you, you know, he's attacking you, you know, this way and that way and the other way, then trade queens. Then black is a pawn up. And that doesn't work for tactical reasons, which are very nice. Um, trades. And now, instead of the obvious rook takes b4, which is probably what Dominguez expected, and white's better there too, he has this really nice tactic. Check, king a8, and bishop c7. And the reason it's a nice tactic isn't because it forks this, because Dominguez obviously saw that and was planning on going here, which he did do. Um, he should play knight c6 now, always sacrifice the exchange. And white has excellent winning chances in this position. It's an exchange for a pawn, and one white just plays. It's, there's nothing forced now, you just play. And white's up like 1.2 or something. Sean Don do that. He did Don do that. Okay, but that wasn't his intention when he traded queens. His intention was to go here. And it's funny, the rook is, de the rook is defending the knight, but there's very few squares for the rook to go to. Um, if it goes here or here, there's g4. The knight is protecting these two. The rook is protecting this one. And what Danya thinks Dominguez missed, this is Danya's opinion, I agree. After e4, I showed you how none of that works. You can't go, you know, this doesn't work. Probably Dominguez thought rook b5 was okay. And just didn't see a4. Which is weird. I mean, a4 attacks the rook and you can't take on Passant. But it's still weird when you can take on Passant, you just miss moves. And you, you can't defend. This, this is attacked and, and this is attacked. And there's, no, there's nowhere to go. So I think when, when Dominguez played queen a5, he probably saw this and thought rook d5 and he was safe. And then after that, he thought rook b5 and I'm safe. And then Dominguez is like, damn it, I'm not safe. So probably Dominguez, in preparing for the game, should have watched the movie Marathon Man because obviously his opponent hasn't seen it or heard of it. He's a kid. And then Dominguez would have known if it was safe. As it was, he didn't know, and he found out the hard way. Okay, so he has to play rook b6 and lose an exchange instead of losing a rook or a piece. And there's just, there's just no, this is, this is not a problem. These are the kind of positions where the gawking rabble are like, well, if Magnus was black and some 2550 was white, you know, probably the guy would just offer Magnus a draw. And then I choke on my rage, right? This is just you win and nobody would ever draw you. There's no counterplay and you're just winning. And he played on forever, but, you know, the truth hurts. I mean, he's had no chance at all. He's just down a lot of material, so... And then the guy finished in style for no particular reason. Yeah, rook takes is really nice. So he wants to play e6. You can play e6 here. You can. But he sacks the exchange first, then plays e6, and then plays e7. That's nice. Yeah, winning's nice. The reason he sacked the exchange was there's no knight here to take on e7. That's why he took the knight. Can't go here, so he checks. He could play rookie two, and then he's like, you, you can't play rookie two. And the truth hurts. So he resigned. So it was a nice finishing touch when it was unnecessary, but okay. Good matter. Um, that's right. A lot of Dennis jokes. Yeah. The, 
there, I have two funny things about the dentist from, 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 you know, like obviously Marathon Man. But there's a Simpsons episode where Homer is sort of like tricked to go to the dentist or maybe it goes anyway. And he's in the waiting room and they call him in and the, the, the dental hygienist or dentist comes in and he's like, ow. And she's like, I, I didn't do anything yet. Like, I'm, I, I'm standing here. And he says, yeah, but the window's open and the wind is hurting my teeth. Okay, so then she starts going to work on him. And he's screaming and screaming. And the kid in the waiting room is really scared. And his mom says, don't worry, Timmy. That's, that person probably has a really special dental problem. And it's painful, but you don't have that. And then <laughs> Homer says... Oh my God, such pain. And I don't even have a special dental problem. <laughs> the window's open. The breeze is hurting my teeth. Good line. And so forth. That's another dentist. Yeah. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. If we lose our dental plan, I can't afford braces for Lisa. 